Now this isn't this is not longitude latitude coordinations. This is numbers of a coordination map of Macondo Block, uh, Mississippi Canyon Block 252. This is a point on the survey map. There's no well M52. All right. There's well A and well B in Mac in uh, in Mississippi Canyon Block 252. All right. So let's go back to the uh, the PDF. All right. Now. Anchor radius, uh, 400 feet, 400 foot anchor radius, uh, 4,600 foot anchor radius, that's meaningless to me. Surface location, excuse me, surface location, here's the number of the lease, OCS-G32306. Anyone in real estate uh, who knows what this number means exactly, you should look it up because this is the number of the lease for the land. The area, the area in the del uh, the area in the Gulf is area name MC, which means Mississippi Canyon. The block of the area is block number 252. Now listen, I, was a land, I used to be a land surveyor, okay? That's what this is. This is the block and lot number. That's what this, this is the survey number, the map, reference to a survey map. Now, these locations, now they give you the land, X, Y coordinates of well A, because why? This is well location A. That's what we're looking at here. All right. We're not even talking about B. We're not talking about the location of M60 uh, of uh, of MC252. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the location of well A in block 252 of the Mississippi Canyon. Okay. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about the whole area. Just the location of the well within the area. And the coordinates are the x coordinate is. 1202803.88 and the y coordinate this is the north coordinate the x coordinate is the east coordinate the y coordinate is 1043161700 now let's go back to the numbers that i wrote down all right the number i wrote down okay i got them right here the east coordinate was 1202799 Okay. Now look at the coordinate that they have for the x coordinate. One two zero two eight zero three. Now if you round, if you round nine nine up, okay, you get one two zero two eight. So that's pr as close to one two zero two eight as you're gonna get. And that's the the x location for well A, the well that was abandoned. Okay. Now the other coordinate. One four uh one zero four three one six one seven. Now let's look at this. This is the actual information that I just took from the rover. One zero four three one six. Okay. One six uh one zero. Now that's only uh seven numbers away, six seven numbers away from the decimal point. That's only uh let's say if you add seven to the number that I took off the rover, okay it would equal this exact y coordinate which is the north coordinate of the well well a All right now i know I'm, it sounds like i'm being annoying but i'm trying to be extra redundant so that it really gets hammered into your head what's really going on here now here are the latitude and longitude coordinates all right so if you want to find this on uh, google maps or anything or bing maps this is what you do you plug these numbers in and it'll, you'll, it'll give you the exact coordinates all right now this is where this is what that we're seeing on tv Let's look at the coordinates for uh, wellhead B, shall we? Now this wellhead B is the second well that was drilled. Now this is according to the theory that there are two wells, in fact, drilled. We don't know for sure if there are two wells that were drilled. The only indication that we have is the testimony of Mike Williams that said that the first well, the, uh, uh, 60 minutes, that said that they had problems with the well, and then that led to the abandonment of the well. Now he didn't actually say it completely but that's what the 60 minutes guy said okay so i'm assuming that that's what he told them but he did say that the, the, the that there were problems and the well was abandoned so anyone who wants to verify that you can do that but i don't need that verification because i had it right in front of me this is well location b okay surface location all right here's the lease for what for look, look let's see if the i'm sure that the lease is the same exact number as the one above let's see ocsg 32306, right? 
Okay, let's go. Let's look at the uh, the last one. Let's look at the least number for uh, well A. So you see what I'm talking about here. All right. Ah, you see? OCSD 32306, the same exact least number. Now, if we were just talking about wells, all right, if we're talking about two different wells, then why do they have a different least number? Because the least number is not for the well. The least number is for the area and block in the Gulf, okay? It has nothing to do with the well. Like BP is telling you, there's such a thing as an MC 252 well. There's no such thing as an MC uh, There's no such thing as an MC 252 well like they had on their web page. Okay, that's bogus. The area is MC 52. The block is 252. The coordinates of well B. Okay, you see we're back on well B. The coordinates of well B in this coordinate system, which is probably a surveyor, some sort of surveyor's thing. Okay is 1202514 that's the east coordinates and uh, y coordinates is 10434194 now ladies and gentlemen i dare you to find these coordinates anywhere on the rovers okay you won't find them and if you do i guarantee you they're going to be over a location with that's gushing crap from the seafloor okay because according to matt simmons if you believe matt simmons okay Matt Simmons is saying that, in fact, the real leak is a gushing hole, okay? Now, these coordinates are only a, a few uh, hundred feet from each other, all right? If, if, if this is actually uh, in feet, and I think uh, some form, probably a decimal form of inches, probably in tenths, if, if I'm not mistaken, but these are, are foot coordinates. Now, this would indicate that, that the wells are only a few hundred feet apart from each other, all right? Now, anyone who's been paying attention to the rover cams has seen the rovers go to, other, like, other areas nearby and seen gushing stuff coming out of the sea bottom, myself included. And it's not just the rover kicking up dust on the bottom of the seafloor, all right? I've watched tens and probably over a hundred, probably hundreds of hours of, of rover footage. And I eventually have come to the conclusion that, yes, we are looking at... We are looking at stuff gushing from beneath the seafloor and not just the rover kicking up dust.